Hi there guys and welcome to the watch channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at this watch which is the PD1664 from Pagani Design. As you can see it has a very very similar look to the Rolex Daytona and essentially this is a homage to the meteorite dial version um, of that uh, Rolex model. Uh, I'll go through the specifications of the watch to start with. Um, you're looking at uh, a Seiko Mecha Quartz VK64 movement within the watch. Uh, now, uh, I'm a big fan of the VK movements because the central second hand that you can see up there at 12, once you start that chronograph, it does operate very, very similarly to a mechanical chronograph. And even with the same sort of, you know, the push, I don't know whether you guys can pick that up on the microphone. Uh, but when you actually reset sorry it's still not wound out properly when you reset it flies back much the same as a mechanical there as well which is uh, you know a really nice uh, feature and certainly doesn't detract from uh, this model's uh, aesthetics you know trying to replicate that rolex look you do have a sapphire crystal uh, there is not any anti-reflective coating on this uh, sapphire crystal so it does glare a little bit in sunlight uh, but nothing uh, you know, particularly obtrusive to being able to view. I think, uh, truth be told, I think the silver faux meteorite dial is probably the biggest uh, issue to legibility uh, as it sort of makes those uh, hands uh, somewhat disappear into the dial. So legibility is probably not fantastic on this. Uh, while we're talking about legibility, um, the hour hands and the hour markers are filled with C3 Loom. Now, I've spoken about this with previous Paganis. Um, it's it's okay. It's not fantastic, so don't be expecting you know Seiko-style monster loom or anything like that. Uh, I, I would probably say the best way to describe it is it's just good enough. Um, you'll probably be able to read the time during the night. Um, but it's yeah, it's not fantastic, but it's not entirely awful either. Uh, you can see there you do have triple registers on the dial. Uh, this one to the uh, right hand side is essentially uh, the 24 hour timer, so you'll be able to tell whether it is morning or night. Uh, you have this bottom sub chrono dial, which is the central uh, running seconds, and on the left here the timer for the chronograph which goes up to 60 minutes. Um, now the dimensions of the watch I'm led to believe are uh, just the same as the Rolex Daytona but I've put some pictures up so you can see them uh, using the digital calipers so it might be out a little bit but it'll get us certainly get a you know good feel for, for the dimensions of the watch. Now finishing on the watch is really quite good uh, you've got a very very nice um, uh, polished case and the crown and these chrono pushers do have screw down components to them. Uh, the watch has 100 meters of water resistance as well, which I'm really, really pleased about. And I must say, I have tried it and it hasn't let me down yet. Uh, so that is something that's uh, you know a big positive to this watch. You can see it comes on this nice sort of um, silicon strap. I would have liked to have seen a Rolex style deployant, but nothing wrong with this here. Uh, clearly just to uh, cut a bit of cost. On the reverse of the silicon um, strap, you can see it does have these great quick release marks here. So uh, swapping these out shouldn't be too much of an issue. Make it very easy. And I do like this waffled um, sort of style here. It gives a little bit of substance to the uh, strap and helps it sit a little bit higher on that wrist. Uh, you've got the bezel here. It's a, uh, um, a ceramic. Uh, well, I don't know whether it's actually ceramic, but it certainly looks like ceramic. Uh, it's pretty well finished. Uh, the printing on it is pretty good. And now I'm, uh, like I say, a big fan of the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movements. I think they offer tremendous value for money, and they give you, you know, 50% of that mechanical feel on a chronograph. Uh, without 100% uh, of the cost, if that makes sense. 
Uh, so like I say, you know, it, it, whilst it is quartz, it does have some advantages, uh, namely being a hell of a lot cheaper, um, and uh, certainly something that's going to give you quite a bit of reliability for, for many, many years. So, very good value watch. Uh, I'm particularly impressed with it. I think it's a, uh, a great value for money option for somebody who likes that Daytona look and, uh, you know, uh, probably not even a point of not being able to afford it, but could actually get their hands on one. Uh, as you would well know, uh, most of you, that, you know, getting hold of a Daytona is not an impossible unless you're willing to pay through the snout for it. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm certainly not willing to uh, to go to those lengths. But, uh, yeah, like I say, gives people that look for, uh, you know, a fraction of the price. And uh, I think uh, I think it's something that, you know, if, if you are interested in, in Daytonas and you like that look, then certainly take a look at this watch and, uh, and uh, see if it's something that you like. Anyway, guys, I just want to wish you all the best. Stay safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.